Hi, I'm Peter Ewell, Director of Learning and Development at the Royal, and in this instance, very proud to be your education support for the introduction of the Duress Alarm Tag at the Royal Ottawa Place. Over the next couple of minutes, we're going to talk about what the tag is, how it works, where it works, and how to use it properly. Simply put, the Duress Alarm Tag is a wireless wearable device that when warm provides you with an additional layer of safety and security at your fingertips. Through the hospital's wireless network, it keeps you in direct contact with switchboard operators and enables you the ability to deploy a code white at the push of a button. Let's take a close look at the tag. As you can see, it's a very simple and clean interface containing one yellow button about the size of your fingerprint and a larger circle above which is a small but very powerful speaker. So let's now talk about how you deploy your duress alarm tag. Imagine the situation. You're face to face with a client. They are angry, frustrated, and perhaps posing a risk to you and themselves in this emotional state. You've done your best applying your nonviolent crisis intervention skills, but you still require assistance. As you know, the preferred method of deploying a code white is to go to the telephone and dial 333. That's because this puts you in direct voice-to-voice -voice contact with switchboard operators. But the reality in our workplace is often you have neither the time nor access to a telephone. You need help fast and the telephone is simply not an option. That's when the duress alarm tag is your next line of safety. Simply grab the tag with one hand and press firmly down on the yellow button until you hear a very high-pitched alarm. The alarm will sound for approximately 60 seconds. It will certainly grab the attention of anyone in your vicinity and at the same time the tag has sent a signal to switchboard. The switchboard operator will turn their attention immediately to the alarm, identify where the tag was deployed, and call a code white in your area. Then you know that staff, designated and trained, will be on their way to provide assistance. So as you can see, the duress alarm tag is a very important safety device that should always be at your disposal. As I mentioned, it puts you in direct contact with hospital switchboard operators ready to call a code white immediately. There are some areas in the Royal Ottawa Place though, where the signal may not be at its strongest. Areas such as stairwells, the courtyard, the loading dock, the basement, and certainly outside of the Royal Ottawa Place and inside the Royal Ottawa Mental Health Centre. You'll know you're entering such an area when you see this sign posted on a door or wall. When you see this sign, know that you should take precautions going into an area where you may not be able to depend on your duress alarm tag. These tags are battery operated and the battery life is expected to last two years. That means unlike the code alert tags at the Royal Ottawa Mental Health Centre, the duress alarm tag does not require the continuous recharging shift after shift. There will be a sign out and return procedure and you can get those details at the administration office within your program. And finally, should your duress alarm tag go missing, please report that immediately to the administration office at the Royal Ottawa Place. The duress alarm tag is your wearable wireless safety net. Please, don't take your safety and security for granted. And thanks for watching this video.